And good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Premier Francois Legault is facing some criticism today. It's over the comments he made in a speech to open a new session at the National Assembly. He spoke in English to address Quebec's so-called historic English-speaking community. As Angela McKenzie explains, his statement left some feeling frustrated. It was 40 seconds of a speech lasting more than an hour. The Premier listed off Anglophone institutions from Dawson College to the MUHC. No minority in Canada is better served than English-speaking Quebecers. It quickly drew criticism. English-speaking Quebecers worked hard to give ourselves those institutions. Uh, we, uh, we built them, we paid for them. But the Premier disagrees. For the Cusum, for Dawson, for McGill, for uh, uh, Anglophone uh, institutions, I think we cannot say, like I read, that all the money came from the individuals. They came from uh, the government of Quebec, and I'm proud of that. The Association of Suburban Municipalities also expressed disappointment that the Premier made no mention in his speech of bilingual cities and their importance for the English-speaking community. And adds, this omission comes at a bad time, as the related cities are grappling with a draft ministerial decree that threatens their funding, all while we plead for bilingual cities to keep their bilingual status in the study of Bill 96. Liberal leader Dominique Anglade addressed the English-speaking community during a debate on the Premier's speech. You are Quebecers à part entière, and expect to be so recognized, not only in words, but in actions, in law, today, and every day. Legault's use of the term historic English-speaking community is also raising eyebrows, just as it did when the French language minister used it in 2019. The premier was asked to define the term on Wednesday. He said it refers to people who went to English schools in Canada. The Quebec Community Group's network calls that dangerous in light of Bill 96, which would overhaul the charter of the French language. That doesn't uh, compute with what the government uh, what, what the government has been, been telling us that there will be no adverse impact to English-speaking Quebecers. And the QCGN says it's concerned more than a million English-speaking Quebecers who don't fit the historic definition will eventually lose access to certain public services in English, including health care. Angela McKenzie, CTV News, Quebec City.